Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Nothing Left For You by Sam Smith. I'm a huge fan of Sam Smith and I'm pretty happy his new album just released here, so I'm going to try and get as many tutorials out for all of his new songs as possible. I cape on our third fret. It's not too bad. Um, there's a B7 chord in there, which can be played as an open chord, so if you're a beginner you can play the song. Um, we have a E minor, a G chord, a B7 chord, an A7 chord, back to our G chord, and then back to our B7. So it's a B7, A minor 7, G, and an E minor. And those are all the chords you need to play throughout the entire song. I'll be teaching you the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. So we're going to start out here with the verse. And I like to pick the verse, but you can also strum it. So we're going to start out on our E minor. You can put your index finger on the second fret of the D, middle finger on the second fret of the A. And we're going to pick A, D, G, D strings. Next, we're going to go up to our G chord. So you don't actually need to put your ring finger down here if you're going to be picking, but if you're going to be strumming, you do. So your ring finger is on the 3rd fret of the high E, middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E, index finger on the 2nd fret of the A, and we're going to pick our E, D, G, D. Okay, next we're going to go to this B7 chord, and there's two ways you can play it. You can play it as a bar chord, or you can play it as an open chord. We're going to play it as an open chord, so your index is going to be on the 1st fret of the D string. Middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the A, ring finger on the 2nd fret of the G, and your pinky is going to be all the way at the 2nd fret of the high E. And we're going to just play the A, D, G, D. So you don't actually need that pinky down there if you, if you don't want it, but if you're going to strum, you do need that down there. Okay, so those are the first three chords, and that sounds like this. So you play that B7 twice, and the other two only get played once. Next we're going to go to an A minor 7, which is just like an A minor, but you're releasing your ring finger, so your index is on the first fret of the B string, middle finger is on the second fret of the D. We're going to play our A, D, G, D. We're going to go back to our G chord. E, D, G, D. And then we're going to go back to our B7 chord. And that's it. That's how you play the verse. So that sounds like this. We'll go play it nice and slow here one time. So we're on our E minor. G to our B7, play that twice, to our A minor 7, to our G, back to your B7, play it twice, and then you start over at your E minor, and that's how you play the verse. So the chorus is actually very similar, it has the same chord progression. And you can continue to pick, and it'll sound great, or you can play and strum. And I think it sounds good if you switch it up and strum. So that's the same chord progression again, but our strumming goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. To our B7. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up. To our A minor 7. To our G. Back to our B7. That's how you play the chorus. 
So it's nice because it's the same chord progression, but you can embellish the song by switching it up from picking to strumming. So there's one more piece here you need to know, and that is the bridge. And the bridge sounds like this. So you're transitioning out of the chorus. You just played your B7, and now you're going to go to an A minor. bridge the chord progression changes up here so we have an A minor to a G to an E minor to a B7 and the strumming goes like this down 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 up up up, down, up, down, up. To G, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. To E minor, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. E7. And that's the bridge. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have other questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.